Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by BetterHelp.com and LittleShaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that is extremely common in dealings with narcissistic personalities, and that is the idea that narcissists ignore problems. I was once told by a diagnosed narcissist that the way he, quote, dealt with problems was to simply wait them out until either the smoke clears or another one comes up or something happens to otherwise take the focus off of that particular issue. Then he would, quote, deal with the new problem the same way. He didn't appear to understand that this resulted in having multiple bigger problems, and he would only act on something if he absolutely had to act, meaning when it could no longer be ignored or put off. If that did not happen, action would never be taken. This is literally ignoring things in the hope that they're just going to go away, and it seems to be very common among narcissistic personalities in general. It also seems to explain a lot about how these personalities generally cope with life. In a very real sense, they don't. Now, of course, avoiding problems is not something that only narcissists do at all, but these particular personalities seem to have a lot more trouble just coping with basic daily life than most people realize, probably because they can be very good at hiding it. I was once told by another diagnosed narcissist that if there were some question in his mind about whether or not he was handling something correctly, he felt that he had to hold even tighter to his chosen course of action, or inaction, as the case may be, and insist even more that he was in the right, even if he knew he could be wrong, especially if he knew he could be wrong. This, too, seems to be very common among narcissistic personalities. Being wrong has very high stakes for them. The very thought that they could be wrong about something seems to trigger an almost frantic need to insist that they're not and to hang on to that no matter what. The toxic shame that they are always battling notwithstanding, there doesn't seem to be the psychological flexibility to deviate very easily at all from a mindset or a course of action, and there doesn't seem to be much of an ability to face things head on in any capacity anyway. So they often avoid and ignore things as much as possible, even to the point of sabotaging themselves and creating very negative consequences in their own lives. This is true even in situations where the solution to a problem is something very simple, such as making a phone call or filling out a form. We could say that narcissists ignore problems because they don't care, and obviously in some cases, or in all cases on some level, that's true. However, they often seem to be extremely stressed out about these problems and very concerned about the consequences. Why then do they continue not to act? There seems to be a deep feeling of powerlessness and a disconnect for these personalities like a child. There's nothing I can do about this. I have no power. I don't know what to do about this. This is somebody else's job. Instead, they rely on magical thinking and hoping that things will turn out the way they want, as well as trying to manipulate others to affect the world on their behalf. This is where their feelings of having power and agency upon the world have to come from because they don't seem to understand that they have any on their own. If you've ever seen a baby in a high chair deliberately throw something, then the mother picks it up and hands it back only for the baby to throw it again and scream for the mother to give it back to them so they can throw it again and make her pick it up again, you have an idea of how and why this works. The baby feels mastery and agency over the world through their ability to induce the mother to do something that they can't do for themselves. Adult narcissists don't seem to operate much differently from that. This childish powerlessness may also help explain why so many seem unable to connect their actions to consequences. Pathologically narcissistic people don't seem to believe they have power to affect the world in any real way. It's as if they believe their actions don't count somehow, or that they happen in a vacuum affecting no one, including themselves. This may be part of the reason why they lash out so extremely. It's an attempt to affect the world that they inhabit. When asked if they understood that their partner's decision to seek a divorce was directly related to their actions, one diagnosed narcissist answer was that they didn't believe that could be true because they didn't believe they had that much power in the relationship. Now, this is very likely a simple denial of responsibility, but it's nonetheless a very strange answer for an adult person to give, even a very deceptive and manipulative adult person. It is, once again, similar to a small child who feels no real responsibility for their actions because they see themselves as simply at the mercy of the actions and the decisions of other people. They don't act, they react.
as much difficulty as they are likely having given these issues, narcissistic personalities can be very, very good at hiding these things. Chances are you won't see fear or panic very much, regardless of how much of it there might actually be. It's much more common to see anger, arrogance, aggression, entitlement, self-righteousness, indifference. These are, quote, safe expressions of emotions that do not appear or feel weak. Most narcissists despise and fear what they perceive as weakness, especially in themselves. It's sadly ironic because in their panic not to seem weak, their weaknesses become obvious. For example, someone who can't take even constructive criticism or who will not change course even in the face of total failure does not really come across as strong or confident. Narcissists often appear to care a lot about any unpleasant consequences they might incur, but true to form, they don't seem to understand or believe their own actions play any part in the situation at all. They endeavor instead to change the consequences for their behavior instead of the behavior itself. It's as if, once again, they believe they have no power in the situation and it all belongs to other people. If I change what I'm doing, that's not going to fix anything. I need to change what other people are doing. If that's not successful, they appear to be unable to see how to avoid the consequences they don't want. So they simply avoid facing or dealing with them if it is at all possible. We can say that this is because they simply don't want to change their behavior, and that would definitely be true in many situations, but in some ways it's too simple of an answer. Many times the situation has grown out of something really small or that's not even important to the narcissist, so why such resistance to doing something different? Why the almost delusional refusal to believe that their behavior has anything to do with the consequences they're facing in their lives? Why simply keep creating these self-sabotaging situations over and over again? To say that they don't care about that is not really true, regardless of what they say. They often seem to at least superficially recognize the impact the consequences will have on them or their lives and they care very much. They still do not take action. If all of their attempts to alter the consequences or manipulate others to intercede on their behalf fail, many narcissists fall back onto indifference. They just stop caring. It's as if, for some of them, not caring is an almost desperate defense mechanism against the fear and the confusion created by a fundamental inability to function even basically as an adult person. Instead of learning how, they simply give up and get through life as best they can, which is often not very well at all. This is a very frustrating thing for people who live with or whose lives are otherwise entangled with narcissistic personalities. The refusal to deal with problems not only causes massive issues in relationships, it can create huge issues in life in general. And if you're having to rely on this kind of personality to take care of something, this can result in adverse consequences for you as well or your family. For example, they're supposed to take the car to get fixed, but they won't. They were supposed to call the mortgage company, but they didn't. They were supposed to amend the tax return, but they never did. Now the problem is out of control, much bigger than it should have been, and you are at a loss to understand why they didn't just take care of it before things got to this point. And no matter how many times you ask them, you might never get a real answer. If you do get any answer at all, the answers might not make any sense, or they might rely on childish or even infantile magical thinking that no adult person would believe. The truth is, they might not even know why they didn't take care of it. These personalities are very disconnected from themselves and the real world in general, as you have probably noticed. Many narcissists simply walk around in large part just reacting to their feelings without very much thought for what they're doing or not doing at all. They didn't want to confront the issue for whatever the reason was, so they didn't. Asking them why they did something or didn't do something is akin to asking the sun why it shines, because it just does. If you're dealing with narcissistic people, this is an important aspect of their personality to keep in mind. There are, of course, some who are super responsible when it comes to the general nuts and bolts type of tasks in life, but in general, we find that relying on pathologically narcissistic people to take care of things that are important is a mistake. Even those that are super responsible may ignore and avoid things that they don't want to deal with, regardless of the consequences. If you're going to be in a situation where you have to rely on them, it's probably better for you to either do it yourself or find someone else who will. Ironically, this may upset the narcissist because they don't like the idea that you're implying they've done something wrong or they didn't do something and now somebody else has to do it. But after their tantrum, they're still not going to be any more reliable or responsible. So if you want something done, you're going to have to do it yourself. And if you're waiting for them to stop avoiding a problem in a relationship, you've got a better chance of getting them to do that project they've been putting off for three years than you do of this ever happening.
Narcissists simply cannot face emotional issues in any way, no matter what. And the consequences of facing something emotional that they've failed at are bigger for them in the moment than the consequence of not facing it. It's just not going to happen. In this, as well as in every other area, you'll have to learn to rely on yourself. I hope this clears a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions, so please keep those coming. I take appointments online, over the phone, via text, via messenger, via email, and through Skype. So if you're interested in speaking with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can visit littleshaman.org to do that. I teach workshops, clinics, and seminars throughout the year, so if you want to see what we're running this month, you can visit littleshaman.org to do that. And if you're interested in joining our support group with multiple meetings throughout the month, weekly support emails, and more, you can visit littleshaman.org to do that as well. You've been listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by BetterHelp.com and littleshaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you. Have a beautiful day.